Uh, you need to know that the ECAM does not think. What I mean by that is that it will display failures that occur by level of priority without any thought about logic. Let me give you an example. A level two ECAM would be an engine failure. Engine failure is a level two, single chime, bing, the engine has failed. I'm gonna take you through an example, one here we're gonna look at. Contrary to that, an engine fire would be a level three. Okay, now, since, since we now know that level three is actually a higher priority than level two, if I, and this is an exercise I do in the sim, just purely for demonstrative and instructional purpose, if I give you an engine fire and an engine failure at the same time on different engines, okay? So let's say on engine number one, we fail engine number one over here, and then engine number two, let's say I give you a fire on engine number two. It's going to prioritize the fire. It'll, carry, it'll have us carry out the ECAM action for fire, which is basically thrust lever close, master switch off, fire switch release. So we're, in other words, we're shutting down the engine. And then, oh, by the way, your other engine over here has failed. So it will, it, I guess what I'm saying is it will command you to shut down the fire, the engine with the fire, despite the fact that the other engine has already failed. And now the ECAM has effectively turned you into a glider because what will happen now is you're flying, the number one failed, you shut down number two, I'm airborne, my airspeed's above hundred knots, I've lost AC bus one and two. The ram air turbine is going to deploy. Now I'm on emergency electrical equipment. I'm on battery power. I got 30 minutes of battery power. I got one engine that hopefully the fire went out, although we're not sure because we're probably still fighting it. The other one's failed. The ECAM action, the only screen remaining since we're on emergency electrical power is the top screen. I guess what I'm saying is you just took a bad situation and made it worse solely because the ECAM prioritized the failures by level, and it never thought logically about, oh, maybe I don't want to shut down the only engine that I have, despite the fact that it's on fire when the other one has already failed, and now I'm going to turn into a glider with no power. Does that make sense? The attempt to get rid of the paper checklist. It's Airbus's attempt to get rid of the paper checklist. However, in attempting to get rid of the paper checklist, they had good, a good thought good intentions, but it wasn't executed to perfection. Now, the reason I say that is because despite the fact that these screens tried to get rid of the paper checklists, we still ended up ultimately with a paper checklist. This is a QRH, which will be completed after the ECAM is completed. And in addition to that, we also have something known as OEBs or Operating Engineering Bulletins. Now, before we even get into the ECAM, I'm going to stop and I'm going to take you first to the OEB, Operating Engineering Bulletin. This is a real nice little PDF Word document straight off of the Airbus website, uh, Safety First, which, which is an Airbus article that they publish periodically. And it says, what is an OEB? So I just want to take you through this really quick and you'll see why this is so important to understand this first, okay? So an OEB is a temporary procedure published for flight crews, which must be applied in specific conditions to ensure the safe and efficient operation of the aircraft. So uh, it also goes on to say an OEB is applicable until a permanent corrective solution is installed on the aircraft. In other words, hey, here is a, a potential scenario or condition that could come up or has come up in an aircraft before, the ECAM didn't account for that issue. So they publish an engineering bulletin that says, since our original solution, the ECAM, did not account for this scenario, here is a bulletin that supersedes the ECAM and you will apply this either prior to the ECAM or perhaps in combination with the ECAM, which we're gonna look at. It does come color coded, either red or white. Red is safety related, where non-compliance may have a significant impact on the safe operation of the aircraft. White or non-compliance may have a significant impact on the efficient operation. So white OEB is basically effect on efficiency of the plane. Red OEB is an effect on safety of the plane. Red, high priority, white, 
It's about efficiency. Now, the OEB or the Operating Engineering Bulletin, the reason I bring this up is because when if you haven't already learned the ECAM before, maybe you're flying the plane, maybe you're not, maybe you want to go fly the plane. It, it's very typical for an ECAM to pop up like this one, engine to fail. And immediately we want to jump into ECAM actions. We want to say ECAM actions right away. And I want you to know that there are some OEBs that say, hey, instead of applying this ECAM, apply this OEB procedure instead. Additional comment, the uh, oral was just, I, I knocked it out of the ballpark, man. And then largely to your videos and you and Juan's videos, brother. I mean. Just, oh man, that's awesome. Yeah. I, yeah, I love like, Man, how'd you know that? Because they, they tried to ask me that battery pack with the emergency uh, light, that deal, uh, charges the battery packs. And he kind of, he had a grin. He's like, well, tell me about that. And I just, just get delivered it. And he's like, wow. You know, he, not many people know that answer. So, yeah. Surprise them. Yeah, man, for sure. And see, I love hearing that, man, when you just surprise them like that and you're 20 yeah. minutes into the oral and it's like, okay, you passed. Okay.